family-like small workshop. Okay, the first uh, speaker is Yuen Tian Yuen from Toulouse. He will tell us about convex cell integral arithmetic system with the focus of the uh, Thank you. So, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for the invitation and uh, a session so I have been here already for two months before the conference, and it's been a great place to be here. Thank you. And uh, so, yeah, so, uh, so here, if you I'd like to talk about this uh, research uh, joint work uh, with uh, Tudor actually and uh, Christoph Asher, so Tudor is here, Christoph here, uh, on uh, the complexity of uh, affine structures coming from the sort of toric focus in the variable system. So, those are integrable honeycomb systems which admit like elliptic and focus focus similarities on it. Uh, yeah. So this uh, project started something like six years ago, right? Well, Christoph was still a student, and uh, so actually I gave uh, him this uh, topic as a research problem. And then we, we continued to discuss it, but it didn't advance uh, very fast until last year when I went to Shanghai for six months and there I. I could convince Tudor to get involved in this uh, project and then we really get it uh, moved. <coughs> uh, yeah. So uh, here's the plan of my talk. Uh, uh, yeah. So first I will recall a bit about toric convexity theorems, like convexity related to toric actions. Uh, uh, and uh, then I will uh, I just talk and discuss about what do we need uh, for convexity and why do we want convexity. And then I will uh, recall a bit about uh, sorry, no, something is wrong. Yeah, uh, about integrable Hamilton systems and, and the similarities, especially the modulated similarities. Okay, and and so the rest of the talk will be specifically about toric focus system. That's the, the main topic. Of Stuff. Okay, so they are five structures. What does it mean to be convex, local and global convexity? And counterexamples, like it, there is a very interesting phenomenon that we have for this system, uh, which uh, is called the black hole, the affine black hole. Okay? And uh, this is a negative result. So it is something which is lo locally convex but not globally con non convex. Globally non convex but locally convex. Okay? And, and, and so some like Positive uh, convexity reasons, global positive convexity reasons. <coughs> okay, so that's the plan of the talk. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so here, maybe everybody already knows uh, about this uh, very classical theorem between Atia and Gilbert Stenberg, 1882. So, if you have a symmetric manifold, say, uh, okay, so it's just the division here, uh, with uh, a torus. Hamiltonian torus action of some dimension k here, okay, with a momentum map. Uh, then, uh, mm, mm, yeah, so M is uh, supposed to be a closing, I, I didn't write it here, okay, connected, uh, compact, uh, symplectic manifold. Uh, then we have these three properties for the momentum map. So, all the fibers, so it means that for each point, the plane image of that point is connected. Then the, uh, the momentum map is open onto its image. So if you take an open set in uh, the manifold, then the image will be open on the image, not on the whole space uh, 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 of the image. And the third property is that the image itself is a compact convex polygon. Okay? Uh, it is a convex hull of on the uh, fixed point uh, uh, of the momentum for the action. <coughs> So we have this uh, complexity property. Uh, so does everybody already know this? So that I can go faster. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, now, mm, okay. So I just mentioned some uh, uh, like uh, particular case. Uh, so, 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 so the first uh, uh, instance of this uh, is probably this called sure on uh, uh, theorem, which says that when you look at the set of Hermitian matrices of some size, and with a fixed spectrum, and you look at the center of all the possible diagonals, 
and then the set of organized in form of convex polygons of three edges that plays with the three uh, agricultures, one, two, seven, okay? And the set of all possible diagonals on this uh, hexagon, okay? And then it was generated by Costan into uh, any quadrant or grid of the compact group. Uh, and the particular case is uh, the so called uh, well, symplectic toric manifold. And it was classified by Densan uh, uh, via uh, the the point of the others, the uh, point of the, of the TN action. So a simply toric manifold here is uh, a symplectic manifold with a torus action of half the dimension. So the, the action is supposed to be, this uh, is effective. Uh, and the dimension is maximum possible. Then uh, you have this point of uh, which satisfies three pro properties. And they, they must be simple, so every vertex is simple. Uh, they must be rational, so the, the, they, they form uh, so, 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 so the, the, the arrows are uh, uh, rational and regular, so they form the basis of the end for each project. And those polytopes correspond exactly to symplectic toric manifolds. They are natural uh, correspondence. <coughs> okay? So everybody already knows that. Uh, now, about generalization. There are many ways to generalize this uh, abelian symplectic convexity theorem. So one way is to make things non-abelian, so to, to, to look at non-abelian group action instead of abelian, okay? Or you can generalize it to, to the case of orbifold, or even more generally to the case of so-called poison point, okay? Or actually, if instead of toric uh, actions, you have toric degenerations, like uh, coming from uh, angelic geometry, so this is a very famous example, the guy has cycling system on SU and star, but they have other toric degeneration, but you still have integrated system. Then the, 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 then you still have a, a complex polytope associated to this. Okay? Or you can also talk about non-compact group action with which are proper. Okay? Or maybe uh, a more general setting is probably group points of, of quasi symmetric group points also non-linear complexity and so on. Uh, uh, and there are also generalizations to the dimensions. So on this uh, generalization, uh, there is an overview in our preprint about it. You can look at the, the first dimension of our preprint with this overview. And there is one particular case, it's a presymmetric case. So instead of symmetric, uh, one can consider two forms which are okay? Uh, and so it, 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 for that generalization, uh, there is a recent uh, work uh, by him and Jama and also by Tuto and my hand last year. Okay. So it will be the uh, ABC it, in the top right now. <coughs> okay. And today we, I will talk about uh, another generalization, which is the case of toric focus in the very system. <coughs> yeah. Okay, uh, so, so in all these Simply convexity theorem. So what do we have? And so, so what, what is convex? And why is convex? And what for? So what to, to talk about convexity in all these uh, simply convexity theorem and their generalization? So we need a affine structure. So the convexity is an affine structure which is convex. So the affine structure might be it might be it, it might be intrinsic. It, 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 in general, it is intrinsic affine but it can and and. Uh, so in general, it lives uh, on some base place. Or maybe it, it is a transverse affine structure, which is also intrinsic. Transverse is a correlation of vibration structure. So what we need, first we need an affine structure, then you can talk about the complexity of that affine structure. Uh, it is not a metric structure, it is uh, and, uh, and why it is convex? So uh, usually uh, the, uh, the, the, the best way, the most natural way to show this convexity is via, first of all, we need uh, a local convexity. So we must know that locally the thing is convex. So the local convexity comes from normal form theorems. Uh, and then we need the principle, which is called the local to global convexity principle, which says that if something is locally convex, plus some additional conditions, which are very minor conditions, easy to verify, then the thing is globally convex. Okay? Uh, and this principle goes back to, to like almost a century ago. So there is a theorem by Kiss and Nakajima which says that if you have a closed set in Rn, which is uh, uh, locally convex, 
and closing, okay, uh, and, and connected, then it is honest. So, you know, most necessary and sufficient conditions for global diversity. So, we need uh, local diversity okay? and, and connected. So, these are two uh, necessary conditions, okay, and plus those are closing that, that close access. This picture doesn't show up right because this should be something of well, another color here. Right? You don't see. <laughs> because it comes right with, the, I don't know, what some background color. But here's the counter example when you have something like this, which is not convex, but local convex. And the, the reason is that you, you took out this point. So it is locally convex, connected, but not closed because it took out one point from it. And so it is a counterexample to the theorem if you forget about the closing method. And then the closing explanation. <coughs> okay. Uh, so, so that's, it, it, in general, it is a way to, to, to show complexity, okay? So to show the complexity, you show local complexity, and then uh, a local to global complexity. It's, okay, so given my, my ask, so why should we, why should we be interested in this complexity? Okay, so what, what is it for? Okay? So I don't know, actually, honestly, I don't really know. Uh, in particular, for our work, I don't really know, of course, but uh, uh, I, I, I may give some very general philosophical reason. First of all, it is just because it is interesting to know whether it is complex. And then secondly, uh, it, it's a usual play when we know that something is complex. It is very useful for the networks. We, we want to count the volume, for example, eh? to, to, uh, or the, some uh, combinatorial theorem formula. So the fact that it's convex, it is very good. It's, uh, it's a combinatorial formula for counting things. Also for topology. So convexity implies topological restrictions or uh, topological properties, a cohomological limit, uh, and in optimization program. So if it is convex, it is easy to reduce. <coughs> so there. Yeah. So, so there might be applications uh, of this complexity properties. Uh, but uh, so from now on, I will not talk about any more motivation. It's just talk about what is complex, okay? And why is complex? <coughs> yeah, so here, uh, let me mention where is the origin of the affine structure, okay? So where does it come from? This principle of the affine structure, it works also when there is no integrable system, it works for things like, you know, like quasi-simplity group or something, right? with more abstract things. <coughs> also, it's a nonlinear complexity theorem. You still need some affine structure. Uh, and the, 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 uh, these uh, affine functions, they are easy to, to imagine. They are actually just parent integrals over some uh, one form. So they are, uh, so, so they are actually just, uh, just area forms, okay? So, so here, so here, for example, you, you, you have two, two fibers uh, uh, of a formation, like QC and QC prime, okay? On each fiber, you have a, a, a loop, like gamma C, gamma C prime. And you imagine that it moves by homotopy from QC to QC prime, and then you form a, a, a cylinder. And, and, and the, 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 the difference uh, with, uh, of the value of function on, uh, on QC and QC prime is simply the simplistic area of the cylinder. So this is given by this uh, value of integral formula, okay? This is just uh, the simple area when you move the, your loops. Right? It gives you a function, and this is the affine function. It gives you the, 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 the transverse affine structure. When you, you change the, the, the loops, you change the cycle, it gives different functions, <coughs> okay? And this is actually the action function formula, or, or action functional formula, okay? It was already used like by, by Einstein uh, in uh, 1917, okay? It was used by Miller in uh, 35 for the proof of the theorem about the existence of action and an array the system. <coughs> yeah. So this is the affine, uh, when you talk about the intrinsic affine structure, it, uh, the affine structure is given by, by this uh, function. <coughs> okay? Uh, and, let me also mention this the global, global complexity principle. Okay? So it, it, it goes back to Pist and Nakajima. And for simplistic geometry, really, it was first used by Kondobo and Dasov and Morito in 88. 
to prove uh, to, to improve this uh, uh, topic for the C teachers, and, and then uh, by him get a map and plan and then many other people that they include Rashba and Bachin and so on. Okay, and there is a very um, uh, simple uh, formulation of, of the uh, one of the possible simple formulations of this principle is that. So I, I wrote it uh, in 2006. I do not claim any originality. It's just a simple way to, to look at it, okay? A uh, uh, simple look at the global lemma. Yeah? Uh, why, 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 why want a map instead of just, uh, just a given a subset? Because, because X is a, is a base space in this case, okay? It's, it has an intrinsic affine structure. And, and the map is a kind of reduced momentum map. So the base space already has an affine structure. And you have a moment, you have the moment the map reduced, which is an affine map. Okay? And when when the uh, when this map is locally injected affine and uh, 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 X is the interested in the local convex, then it implies that it is globally convex and the image is convex. Okay? That's also uh, another way to look at the convexity theorem of uh, all these people at their global scale that they feel on the same. Is this <coughs> the boundary is considered in the affine structure? Uh, uh, so, no, no, no. Uh, it is it is just a regular manifold this boundary. So, 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 so the boundary is the boundary of a manifold. So, when when, the, when you say that it is convex, it means that it is convex in the usual set. So, is that like the half space? Uh, locally, it's the uh, everything lies in the, in the half space. The, 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 the R is not necessarily affine in this realm. Yeah. But of course, in, in those realms, in previous realms, the boundary is piecewise piece uh, affine. Mm -hmm. But here it is not necessary to be like that. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so let me go to, to integrate the system. So here is the standard definition uh, of integrated systems in the sense of a new grid. So we have here a two n dimensional symplectic manifold with a momentum map, uh, okay, to Rn. Uh, okay, so, so the first function here, H1, is the, the original energy function. And then we assume that there are additional functions so that they compete with each other and then uh, they are independent almost everywhere. And we will assume always that the system is proper, so the map is a proper map. Now, when we have such an integrable system, we can talk about the base space of the system. So, what is the base space? So, last, last week, it was a conference of topology, so I learned this terminology. It is called the Stein factorization. So, it means that each point of this base space corresponds to one connected component of the plane image uh, of the map. Okay, this is called Stein factorization. It, it, it is exactly the what the base space here, okay? So, so the points are at the connect level test uh, of the momentum map, okay? And then this base space will admit a natural similar affine structure. I, I mean, yeah, so if you forget about the similar point, then uh, that affine structure is, uh, 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 the existence is due to the existence of action and then variable. Uh, this is this uh, local uh, normal form here. Uh, so each regular level is a torus around the torus, uh, uh, the the the, the form has this standard form for here pi as as an action variables on 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 this n dimensional ball qi as the angle variables and the local affine functions are as the functions pi okay so, uh, uh, so this local affine structure on the regular part of the base space is given by local action variables. And, but about the single part, but actually on the single part, we also still have action function. We also still have a high function. Okay? But I do not want to go into the detail at this moment. <coughs> Can you say that what is the Stein factorization? So, so Stein he did it for uh, no, for no, in algebra. I, I don't know the definition, but in this context. So this is this, is, this is a Stein factorization of M. We have the momentum map H. So, so, so the map from B to I, it's just a kind of finite area. Uh, so, uh, so it's a fi 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 finite area. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay. yeah. 
So now, so the question here, can we talk about the complexity of this uh, base space? Okay, because it has an affine structure, intrinsic affine structure. I mean, can we talk about the complexity of it? Okay. So in that case, when uh, when the, the C set is toric, it means that uh, uh, this momentum map turns out to be the momentum map of a toric uh, action. Okay. Uh, then we know that this D is isomorphic naturally to a convex polyton. So everything is clear. It is then that classification at the Einstein theorem. Okay? But more generally, when the system may have other kind of similarity, can we still say that there is some complexity to a okay? uh, <coughs> And before talking about complexity, let's talk a bit about similarity because, yeah, because of the most difficulty. Uh, uh, thing here uh, is a similarity. Yeah, it's, all, it's a similarity which makes things complicated. <coughs> yeah, okay. So actually, here we want to restrict our attention to the case of non-degenerate similarities only. Okay. So what is a non-degenerate similarity? Uh, the, the formal definition is a bit long, uh, but uh, let's say that uh, they satisfy some natural generalistic definition. And locally, uh, there is a theorem of uh, local linearization theorem, which is due to why uh, in the analytic phase and Elias phase <coughs> of the smooth system, okay, which say that when, whenever we have a non decreasing point uh, of a momentum map, okay, then uh, there is a, a, a local canonical coordinate system around the signal point, okay, and uh, uh, and functions qi, these are uh, functions which commute with the original functions uh, momentum map. So you can change the momentum map f to the new momentum map q, yeah, the, the, these components qi, yeah, in such a way that the qi, they are quadratic or, or linear. So, so for example, uh, it, 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 it might be uh, the sum of xi squared plus xi i squared, okay, this is the empty component, okay, so uh, the, 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 the level set will be will be certain like this, okay? Or QI might be hyperbolical, or uh, they, they might come in PR, so they are, they are called focus focus component, okay? Uh, uh, or there are some components which are linear instead of what are so these are, uh, are non-similar components, okay? So on the similar components, they, they, they are either elliptical or hyperbolic or focus focus, okay? And then there are some non-similar components. And when we look at the uh, at the corral, so the uh, the, so the rank, the rank is the rank of the differential of f at the point p. So the rank is the number of qi which are linear. So the rank here is n minus scale, because from one to n is okay. And the corral is the number of components qi which are quadratic. Okay, so it is the number of elliptic components plus the number of hyperbolic components plus twice the number of focus worker components because they come in pairs. <laughs> so, so let's say KE plus KH, so KE is the number of elliptic components, KH and KF, the number of focus So KE plus KH plus K2, two, two, K, two times KF is equal to, to, to this kappa, which is the uh, corral. <laughs> so, so it is a general case whenever we have a single point which is non uh, locally we can have a situation like this. Now, the thing is that when we have uh, this hyperbolic similarity, then, then the base point will be branching at those points, okay? You have this phenomenon that uh, locally it looks like a graph, or uh, it's called a, a, a graph void, whatever, okay? Now, when we have a graph, it is very difficult to talk about complexity. You know, you know a graph, what, is, what does it mean to be a complex graph? How we go from one point or another point on two different edges of graph, this is not clear. Uh, so here, uh, we restrict our, ourselves to the situation when there is no hyperbolic with the component. Then it is, then, the, then it makes the, I mean, it makes clear sense to talk about convexity. For, for when there are hyperbolic components, this is quite, you know, it does not make much make sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's why we restrict our attention to the case when there is no hyperbolic component, okay, only analytic or focus focus 
and those systems we will call the toric focus system. So toric means uh, the elliptic type, the elliptic type, sorry, yeah. and focus focus. Yeah. These two types, these two types, yeah. toric or focus focus. <coughs> okay. Ah, there is this charm about the composition that. Uh, 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 so the, uh, this theorem is about the, uh, the semi-local structure of singular particles, where the singularity is non-vision, right? So basically it says that it can be decomposed as a direct product of, uh, of, toric, of, of elliptic component, uh, and regular component, and hypergolic component, and focus local torrent, and then divided by some hypergolic function. Okay? And uh, this is only a topological decomposition, but it, uh, it gives consequence on the local structure of the base space. It, 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 it gives you the description, a histological description of the base space. Okay. So, now, uh, yeah, so what is the toric focus system? As I said uh, here, we assume that every singularity is non degenerate okay, and there is no hyperbolic component. Only and liquid or focus, focus, components. Okay? So, okay, why toric focus? Okay? Because uh, there, are, there are several reasons. So, so, so maybe, uh, 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 the first reason is that it really can be found in many physical systems. You can, you can find focus, focus, components. Actually, it is very easy to find focus, focus, in that thing. It, even in the simplest example, like the spherical pendulum, this it already has a focus, focus, similarity. Or in, uh, in lasers, whatever, in, for people who know what like James Cummings uh, model for, uh, it already it has focus, focus, components. And also for people who are studying like geometric uh, interpretation of mirror symmetry or tiny yard manifold, there must be fibers of uh, focus, focus type. <coughs> okay. And so on. Uh, and on, on the, um, the PDVs, like you know, the focusing uh, maybe not shown in the equation or so. Cubic, uh, which is uh, in the correct way. You also find the uh, focus, focus in that thing, okay? And uh, so the good thing about the uh, toric focus is that the base space, they are still manifold, they, they, because there's no branching there. They are still manifold, okay? We can talk about conversely when they are still manifold, okay? Uh, the, so the, actually, it, they still have smooth structure, uh, but even though the, the affine structure is similar, but the, but the smooth structure, uh, the, 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 differential, the differential structure is still smooth, okay? And those systems have been studied by a lot of people, uh, starting with Dorsenmark and Bushmark and Knorr. So it was Dorsenmark who first uh, defined the monodromy uh, of integral Hamiltonian system, and the first people who observed this phenomenon of non-trivial monodromy uh, were uh, I think Dosh, Dosh Marcos and Kushman and Knorr, they also that whenever you have a focus focus similarity, then you have non trivial monodromy. Okay? And although they also been for some concrete system, they even say like that. They also that they need to put some concrete system for which you have non trivial monodromy. And it turns out that their system contain focus focus similarity. And that focus focus similarity is responsible for the non trivial monodromy. Okay? So actually, People were interested uh, in this uh, toric focus, uh, focus on the due to the monodromy phenomenon. And, and, the, and the physicists who study this from the, the physical point of view. Okay? And there are even papers in, um, I think, in a, in physical review, uh, physical uh, reviews letters, I think, the most prestigious uh, physics journal, about this monodromy phenomenon. Right? But they show that it really happened. For, for quantum physical system. Actually, I think Sun, when he, he talk about it, it is a, uh, it, 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 it corresponds to the fact of, uh, this is called a defect in, in the lattice of uh, again, uh, of uh, joint spectrum, which is uh, quantum, it's a, a, a lattice defect phenomenon. <coughs> there is even a paper in nature. In nature, okay. The special place is uh, the sort of semi-toric that in some people here study it like so you know, it's kind of okay. And other people yeah. 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 yeah, so so that's uh, what you want to study, yes. Yeah. 
but we, we want to look at the complexity uh, aspect of this. Okay. Uh, yeah. So what is the model drawing here? So here's a picture. Uh, so you have a when you have a focus focus similarity. Uh, there is a point uh, which is focused on the signal plane on the base plane. So it corresponds to a fiber which is similar on the simulated many point. Okay, it has some similar points which are of focus focus type. And around it, the other fibers they are regular. So it is a, it is a case of two degrees of freedom. It is just a, a isolated similar fiber. The other fibers around it uh, are regular. And, uh, and in the two dimensional case, of, oh, uh, the, the base space is just two dimensional. So you have just one isolated signal point on the disk. Then you, when you go around this disk, so you go from uh, this uh, fiber Y here, you go around to the fiber C here, and then you come back, but, uh, but uh, going around this uh, signal point O, okay? Now, here, the torus is two dimensional. You have two cycles, gamma one and gamma two. When you go around gamma two, is still gamma two, okay? Now gamma one is still gamma one here, but when you go back, gamma one goes back to gamma one, but gamma two, when you go around, it goes to gamma two plus three times gamma one. That is the meaning of it. Okay? And from the topological point of view, it is the, uh, you can see it as a particular case of the picard ashes form, <coughs> or a particular kind of signal. And so this phenomenon is a, is a topological phenomenon. Okay? So the first people who study uh, they, they found the formula using like Abelian integrals using concrete, uh, very complicated formula. But actually, it is just a topological phenomenon. So it goes for every focus, focus similarity. And uh, so actually, it was uh, it was Matriac and me who wrote down this general formula using for, for any focus, focus similarity around uh, uh, around maybe four, maybe five. Actually, yeah, I wrote it in but the paper was published only in 97. It was, it was accepted in 1940. It took two years to publish it. <laughs> and this uh, paper by Mark uh, in 1996 uh, is the same paper. <coughs> okay. <coughs> well, why do you like it? What? Why? No, why? why? It's just a, a point of oh, okay. So it is fiber why? But uh, maybe the dimension is not good, but why is a, it's a point of the base space? So this is the fiber index Y, okay. and it go around to the fiber index C. Okay. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Now we can talk about the, the when we talk about the base space. So here we suppose that the CCM is storage focus, okay? Only elliptic and focus focus similarities, no hyperbolic similarities. Then. Uh, so we have this projection from the symplectic manifold to the base space. Then the topology of B, of course, it comes from the topology of, uh, of the manifold. So it is an induced topology, which is house drop, easy to see. The differential <coughs> structure on B also is also induced from the differential structure on the manifold. It means that a, a function on B is differential. It means that the pullback is differential. Okay, a smooth function on B it means that the pullback is smooth. Uh, and with this uh, differential structure, B is actually a manifold. A manifold is boundary and corner, but it is a smooth manifold. Those focus, focus, slot point, they are not similar for this differential structure. They are just regular points for the manifold structure. Okay? What is similar is the integral of structure. So when you look at the integral of structure on B, the structure is similar exactly at focus point, at focus, focus point, from the very focus points on B. Okay? Now, so, uh, Visually, okay. Uh, how do they look like? So here's a picture. The, the picture of B is a two-dimensional case. So you just take a, a kind of a rectangle, let's say. You cut out a angle like this. So here's a point zero 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 one thirty one. Okay, you cut out a angle like this, and then you glue you glue this line to this line uh, by this by the matrix that I showed the, uh, before. And, and then when, when you blue, it, it becomes a uh, that affine structure, with the uh, O as a single. Okay. That is uh, the single affine structure. You, you cut out something, you, you, and then you move back to the mesh. Okay. Uh, <coughs> yeah. uh, so the fact that you, you 
that how it is related to, to this is the uh, result of the dust from a Hetman formula with the uh, station makers formula you can find in the chains. Yeah. It's also a point goes here. You see, because B, you know that it is just a disk. You see, topologically, it is a disk. Mm -hmm. You cannot talk about any covering thing. It is a covering it is It's just a disk. Like and you take out a like from B. No, no, the thing is that when you, because when you forget about the similar point, it's no more interesting. So the interesting part is that you keep on the similar point, okay? Uh, okay. <coughs> when you keep the, the, the B, it's just a distance. So I mean, topologically, it's already trivial. You cannot uh, make any problem. <coughs> That instead of just one isolated, uh, uh, one isolated uh, focus focuser, you, you have a family of focus focuser or co-dimension two. Then the future is that is like this. So we have a whole family of uh, focus focus uh, points uh, uh, of the co-dimension two. Okay, uh, uh, this is like here in three dimension you have a curve, which lies on a hyper. Uh, but but the curve is is not is not straight. It, it can be uh, of any shape. Okay. Uh, uh, and then there's a ditch. You cut out a ditch like this. So so you see transversal. It looks like a parallel station. Transversal. Okay. Then you cut out a ditch and then you glue the the two coils of the ditch together. So it is a ditch which is not mm, not straight. Okay. It, so this curve is it can 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 be of any shape. <coughs> and it is a multi-dimensional picture when you have all the uh, focus focus points of coda two so this is the, the, the case of just this is one focus focus component. <coughs> yeah. So that's a, that's to give you an idea of the uh, of the uh, base space of the archive structure on the base space when they have when they have focus focus point the local structure. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's now talk about the uh, so what does it mean to be convex? Uh, so when you have a, a body in uh, Rn, then uh, the usual definition is that the convexity means that when you have two points, you can, you can join these two points by a straight line which lies inside of a, okay, a, a segment. So here we want to use the same definition. So we say that uh, uh, your, we say that our manifold is convex. If finding two points, we can join it uh, by a straight segment. But what may happen is that the straight segment may go through some single point. That's the problem, okay? Because that's a single point, and when you try to connect two points by a straight segment, for example, two points here, when you try to draw a line, then it goes through the single point. So we have to talk about similar straight line, okay? 
Zone is seen to be a straight line. Uh, uh, the problem is that uh, affine functions, uh, maybe at similar point, they are not well defined. Like some, 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 some affine functions, they are, then they, they are not regular at similar point. Otherwise, the structure would be regular. Okay? So, uh, here's the idea. So, to define a singular uh, uh, straight line, which goes to this point, we have to approximate it by a family of regular straight lines. So this signal extension. So here's, for example, here's a, a signal straight. Here's a straight line which goes and which hits a signal point. Now the question is, that where does it go after hitting this point? Okay. So what we want to do is we want to approximate this line by other lines here. Okay. Approximate. Now if we go on the right here, and then we go and then we go up here, and then we take the limit when this guy goes to here. Okay. So the approximation. On the right, it gives you this line. If you go here and then go to to gamma, ah, gamma right, okay. So the right extension is like this. But if you do the same thing on the left, so take straight line which go to gamma on the left and take the extension of the straight line. And when you take the limit when the difference here goes to zero, it, it gives you another extension. So what does it mean? It means that you can define straight extensions for your straight line when they hit single point, but it is not single one. You have many choices. Okay? So you must accept that both this and this are straight line. Okay? <coughs> so there you can be multiple choice for uh, for for uh, for straight line extension when you hit a single point. <coughs> yeah. So once we, we we have this definition of straight line this is a branch here for Kusa. Now, uh, uh, yeah. so uh, the, uh, when you have a complicated focus, focus group, so there are many components, and you, you may have two to support or three choices when you hit the top one. Yeah. Now, uh, so the definition now is clear, so we say that something is complex. If for any two points, okay, you can connect them by a straight segment, okay, which might be similar, which might go through to single point. Uh, so the first result is that with this definition that locally when you have uh, any focus focus point of uh, with just one focus focus component and it is locally convex. So the local convexity is okay when you have just one focus focus component. <coughs> yeah. So here's a, here's a proof uh, in the case of uh, uh, dimension 2. So you want to connect A to B, okay? So uh, you want to go uh, on the right or on the left, okay? When, uh, uh, then it, it might happen that when you go on the right, it's okay, when you go on the left, it gets broken. Yeah. Or, the, uh, or when you go on the left, it's okay, on the right, it gets broken. Why is it broken? Because when you go on the left, it means that you, you should go here. The formula uh, assures you that if, when you hit this one, it's on the left of O, then it will not be broken, but when you, Hit uh, this line on the right of O, it gets broken. But anyway, you you have at least one way to go from A to B by a true straight line, which is not broken. Or actually, it might often happen that you have two straight lines from A to B. So this is convexity, but not in the classical sense. So here, you see, it is like also like in the matrix space. The, the jersey is not unique. It is. When you have two points which are close together, then, then you have a unique geodesy, right? Uh, and metric geodesy. When the two points are far away from each other, then maybe you have many different geodesy. And here the situation is similar. You have two different affine geodesy from A to B. But even when A and B are close together, because the point O is similar, okay? <coughs> So, uh, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, you always have a local convexity when there is only one focus focus component. Right? Yeah. And this is, uh, this is basically the proof. <coughs> you try to, to go from A to B uh, by, uh, by, the, uh, by affine functions. Yeah. This one of the functions is globally defined, and the other function here, G, it has two branches uh, when you go over like that. 
So it gives a two branch, we find two possible. Uh, right? <coughs> so one, at least one of the two branches will work. That's the idea. Okay, now, uh, so, so once we have this local complexity, in the case it's just one focus, focus component, we can talk about the local global complexity principle. So does this still work? Okay, if it works, then we have global complexity. Now, unfortunately, it does not work in general. Uh, and so, actually, here's this phenomenon, which uh, <coughs> each happens when, when your affine structure has signal points or focus time. It's that the local to global complexity principle, unlike the equilibrium case, does not work in general. And so, it gives rise to phenomena like a thin crucial local context but globally non context. I will show you a, a very funny example where you have a really affine black hole. So, thin is really like in a black hole, the light cannot get out of the black hole, the light cannot get in. <coughs> okay. uh, but uh, just some special case when the global, uh, when the local to global complexity principle still works, so it means that we still have some positive reasons on uh, global complexity under some conditions. I will show later. Uh, but, uh, okay, so uh, now, uh, because it, it is exactly because of the monotrony that things tend to work when, okay, in, in globally. It works locally, but not globally. It might, uh, so for example, we have existence of a non-convex integral affine S2, okay, which is local convex, so it's just a scale, uh, with the focus, focus points, okay? Uh, uh, and also, uh, we have an uh, example uh, of non-convex integral when the focus, focus point is the uh, focus two, it means that we have two focus, focus components, so, so, uh, so the dimension is as uh, at least eight, uh, each company has four dimensions. When you have eight dimensions and focus, focus, two. Okay? Or oh, actually, we, we do not need eight dimensions. We need all, all, only six dimensions to have things like uh, two degrees or two degrees of return with two focus, focus curves. Then it already creates something which is local convex and global non convex. Due to complicated monotony, if two curves are just like, like this, okay? So the, the motor only they, they do not commit each other. Uh, but uh, okay. it's just the idea. So here, this phenomenon, uh, which, which was quite uh, strange at first, uh, at first uh, this uh, Christophe tried to prove for a long time the global complexity theorem. Okay, we, we tried to prove that uh, because we, we somehow knew that uh, the local complexity worked. So we tried to prove global complexity. Okay, yeah, we didn't win. All right. So, and after a while, we realized that it was not true. So actually, the obstruction to global complexity and the obstruction really lie in the monotony. Okay, that's the idea. <coughs> uh, uh, yeah. So here's a, here's a funny uh, uh, concrete example. I, I did not have uh, enough time to explain to you the whole thing. But the idea is, is like this. You take the, uh, uh, something like this here. Yeah? It is down here. Okay, this is a, a very concrete example. The affine structure is concrete, right? Here this is a standard equilibrium space with the standard affine lattice, uh, integral affine lattice. So take, take this, uh, this is called the shuriken, uh, with uh, eight uh, edges, uh, and then you glue, you glue this guy to this guy, this guy to this guy, and so on. You glue the same way as I showed before, gluing to that focus at first point. So after gluing all this point, uh, here, we can focus, focus it inside the thing, okay? Here the index is one, here the index is two. The index uh, of the index tray of the monotrome is two, yeah? one, two, one, two, one, two, and so on. And after gluing, it becomes uh, uh, a flower like this. So, so the shuriken, after gluing, it becomes a flower with eight focus, focus point inside. You see the total index is one, because we have four points of index two and four points of index one. And 12 is an uh, is, uh, important number because you know the K, K, K3, the construction of K3, it must have 24, the total index 24, here's half the index, okay? <coughs> yeah, and this, and this point here, and this, point, uh, this point P here, when you group Q to P already, this point here, they become con concave, concave uh, uh, points here, okay? So, so this is affine structure. Okay, which corresponds to some integrable system. You, 
is caused by, by the uh, realization. So then you, you, you can have a, a, a Lagrangian similar a Lagrangian torus vibration with exactly this space space. Okay, but it is not uh, not a sphere. To, to, to make it into sphere, you have to glue to it on the opposite side another line. So, 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 uh, uh, so, so here again, you take uh, this uh, picture, it is like a hexagon, but then you cut out this small things here, okay, and then glue. This is again, index one, index two, index one, index two, so. But when you glue, then you have uh, this, uh, this point P here, they are context. Uh, they, they are still like this, like still context. So this picture, this is uh, again index 12, okay. It, it fits exactly in the previous picture. So you glue the two things together to get a scale. Okay? So, so this is the construction, the explicit construction of an affine sphere with a single focus, focus, single focus, with total index 24. Okay? That's why it corresponds to, to a construction of an integrable system. The total space is K3, deformed to K3. <coughs> And now, so by the realization, so right, like by the so-called symplectic surgery, uh, integrable surgery, you can construct an explicit uh, integrable system uh, with this uh, base space, uh, affine base space, affine base space, with exactly this affine structure coming from here. Okay? And why now why it is non-convex? So it is globally non-convex, locally convex open. So look at this picture again. Uh, so yeah. So look at this point, the center of the uh, of the of the flower, and you, you try to get out of, uh, of uh, so you, you take a, a light ray, so uh, so a straight affine line, okay? You try to, to go out from a uh, by a straight line. When you go, when you go here, you, you see you can go like it if you go because this is a straight line also, right? It is a straight line, right? So when you go, of course, it it, 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 it is always to the left of this line, you know, and it goes here. Something like this. So from here, it, it, so from here, you see, this is a straight line. So it, it must, it, it must go, go it, it cannot go like this uh, because this is already a straight line. So when it come in, it must go here. Uh, so any straight line going from A, coming from A, if it goes, and we can get stuck, uh, it will get stuck inside of this picture. Uh, you can, you can see that it will get stuck. So it means that any light ray coming from A, any straight line. Can never get out of this flow, so it can never go to the other side of the of the sphere, and that is the global non convexity that's, that's only true for the straight line starting from a right. No, no, of course, if you if you start from somewhere else, it might like very well get out, of course. But I mean, convexity means that the uh, non convexity means that there are at least some points where that you cannot connect. If you take a point here, then of course you can get out. No, no, inside the... Inside this. Of course, I think that you, 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 it eventually you can prove that near end it, 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 it is still true. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, I didn't prove it, but I mean, I, 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 I think that it is true. Okay? It, it gets stuck here. Yeah. Can you somehow think of it as a direction of curvature in a certain way? Or so you say that? I mean, can I somehow... I mean, you say that black hole and this thing can't really escape. Can I... Yeah, it is curvature. Yeah, of course. You see, the, the thing is that every single point it, it, it creates a very strong curvature. So it means that it it, it, it bends the, the light ray around it. So it bends it back. Mm -hmm. So like when instead of going straight away like this, because of this single point, when you go when you go near the single point, it bends it backward. So every time it goes near this, it, it bends backward. Okay. So it means that it, it has a tendency to go. It, it cannot not, never go go straight out. Uh, because it, it gets bending back mm -hmm. all the time. Does, does Moody circle back to the center or does it just circle in somewhere? No, in so, so basically it is circle uh, between, uh, between this compared to the uh, line and, and, and this single point. Or um, sometimes it, it, it gets back uh, it gets it, it gets uh, inside this and if it gets inside this then it gets out of it, of course. Because inside it is a convex thing. <coughs> So we see, uh, locally it is flat, so locally it's the curvature is zero. Yeah. 
But here it is singular. So a singular it means, so for example, if you use the, the gospel name, so remember to understand. So, so the curvature is of delta function curvature. Concentrate on this single point. So you, you associate that it's a singular correspondence? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a singular correspondence. Exactly, yeah. So this is a kind of, of gospel name theoretically you can write down if you want. But the curvature is concentrated on in this point. Right? <coughs> the last line, so you already showed this. And here there is a, another phenomenon. Uh, when you have like a focus, focus point of, of, of two focus, focus components, it means that dimension is at least A, okay? Uh, then uh, it, it may happen that when you want to go from A to B, uh, uh, let's go back to, to this picture, yeah? Here, you have only one focus, focus lens. When you want to go from A to B, there are two choices, and at this point of the choice both. Okay, so it is local coverage. Now, when you have two focus focus component, want to go in that neighborhood, you want to go from A to B. Uh, there are actually four choices because you have uh, 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 two focus focus components, so it is focus focus power two. Okay? You have four choices, uh, so we four choices, but actually it, it, you can construct such a system such that the four choices get broken. So, no, no, not the work, so it means that you cannot go from A to B. So it means that even quite locally, near a focus, focus power two point, it is already in the progress. <coughs> yeah, it is a bit tricky to construct it, but uh, it is possible. Uh, and then now there's another phenomenon that uh, you have two focus, focus uh, curve, okay, two, two curves of focus similarity. Uh, and Okay, so from A to B, when you pass through that, this guy, you have two choices, you have to pass through this guy, another two choices, uh, again, two choices, so two times two is four choice. But it may happen that the four choices are broken. So it means that there is no straight line. Okay? To get a straight line, you can, you can start on the choice possible. And you look at those choices which are really straight, not broken. Okay? If there is at least one which is really straight, then it gives you a hypothesis <coughs> from A to B. But uh, uh, you, you can construct an uh, example, okay? Uh, it, it, it might happen that all the four choices here are broken. Okay? So it means that, uh, and it is also due to moment only. Why? Because if this curve, they, 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 if they, they, they are a bit different, uh, then uh, you can always at least uh, have one from A to B. So uh, let me show you uh, this uh, positive reason, okay? Now, so, okay. That's some positive reason anyway. So the first is dimension uh, two. So if the base space is of dimension two, basically if say that, uh, so first of all about the topology. Uh, when you have a toric focus system, look at the base space, okay? Uh, and assume that the base space has boundary. So this is not the case of the scale. The scale has no boundary. Now you assume that the base space has some boundary. Okay? If it has some boundary, then it is convex. So the topology theory. And topology theory, it is the at the uh, this or annulus. So this is the case of an annulus. Uh, the case of annulus, there are some additional property. Okay, this so. So 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 the sphere has no boundary, as why well, if the two-dimensional base space has a boundary, no trivial boundary, no empty, okay, then it is convex. Then it is at uh, this or annulus. Uh, or, 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 or a modulus band in, in the normal context, oriented case. <coughs> okay. and, and 
the fact that it, uh, it is an uh, universe or this actually was uh, the proof was written in the uh, Sinita, uh, in South African Bible of the City. Uh, uh, but um, actually, very long time ago, uh, I, I wrote the, the proof in the preprint, which never, uh, it got never published, was in the case. Uh, <coughs> okay. uh, and, and then there are some uh, results in the case uh, uh, of, uh, no, okay, forget about this. Uh, I have to show you. Uh, it's a case of any dimension. Then, if you assume that there is a global DN minus one action, so uh, so there is only one less than the toric case, okay? This is called, how, how do you call it, sir? Summatory. So, the, the, so the, the dimension of the torus action drops only by one, okay? So, in particular, it means that the monoromy, the total monoromy is received, is added by you have this T and so on. That basically everything still works, okay? Then you still have global value Right, okay, it's time. Thank you. Any questions? Can you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, on the concept of on slide 20, when you blew this flower. Yeah. Uh, so oh, I have two questions about this. The first is, uh, do you know what's the top of the It's set here. Uh, it's top, uh, I mean, you, like, whenever you have this space, space are scared, it, it, it's always set here. Yeah. Uh, you need to it to prison, yeah. And uh, uh, whether, uh, let's say, rays nearby A can escape, I mean, uh, if I understand correctly, you can look at uh, this question of the uh, left side. So you start at side A, you make a straight line, which gives a real straight line. I think uh, you saw that or, or also asked this question about the both nearby. I oh. uh, no, I, 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 I believe that it, if you go to, because we are ready, so, so it's, it's it, 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 it basically, it's still gets stuck somehow. But I have to, to, to look at this question again. But you can look at this question at the right, right? And the, the, uh, sorry, the left, and on the left, straight line, the real straight line. So if you start near A, yeah. you can find a side from which you can escape. It, 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 no, you, you, you are right. So, you, so, so here it can escape, for example. Yes, okay. Okay. No, yeah, but uh, it means that there's some direction where it might escape, yes. but not for the other direction. Uh, so, it, it's also for the point near A, so there, there is some particular direction where it can escape, but, but you take any, uh, uh, then for most, for most other directions, it's not escape. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a very small angle where it can escape. Okay. Yeah. It's just, just, just an example to show the phenomenon. Uh, but, I mean, convexity means that you, you, you have two any points, A and, and another point, B or C, you can convex. But, but it basically, it means that uh, it is not only A and all the other point outside, but near a uh, point near A and a point outside, maybe you cannot have a geodesic from a point near A to that point outside. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Like you know, convexity, uh, this convexity of, uh, of the hyper uh, of the hyper surface of the uh, isolation level, for example, especially for the convexity. And um, this there is a, a notion of convexity when you recede into an isolation surface. Uh, then, uh, then even when it is hyper, you can talk about convexity. Recede into isolation. So, so, 
But it's not going to, you have the, the domain, the, 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 the two dimensional domain, right? And those domains, the, the hyperbolism like this, it's not going to be. Because the line is not different. Okay, any other questions?